Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Robert the Leather Cowboy Muhammad with another video for Premier Leather Crafters right here. Man, uh, um, I know it's been a minute since I've done one of these, but as you can see, I've been so busy, been so busy moving into the new shop, getting everything set up and done. Um, uh, you guys, some of you guys know that I just uh, published and put out a book uh, next uh, nobody ever expected this, which it was truly a remarkable, remarkable experience. You know, I had a lot of fun writing that, writing that book and putting the information out there about how you can be next uh, to where you can say you're next, where nobody ever expected success to happen to you. Um, as you can see, I mean, we got a whole lot of stuff going on. Uh, in the new shop, uh, I got a photo booth set up now to where we can actually shoot uh, and film our products, shoot and film different different types of techniques and new things that's coming out, which led me to today. I was working on a, 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 a belt for a client, and it was so funny because... Uh, when I posted it on my social media, one of the uh, other, I guess, I don't know what skill level he was on, but one of the other crafters that was in the guild said, hey, look, he said, I've never seen anybody use a mender or a mender tool like that, and I have never seen that mender tool. Where did you get that? And it made me laugh so hard that... Because it wasn't even the Mender tool. Or men I don't know if I even know if I'm saying that right. M-E-A-N-D-E-R. Mender, Mender, Meander, Meander. I have no idea. I just know, look, it's not that. It was actually a border tool that I was using. And and, and you guys know me by now. And when I speak about stamping and learning what your stamps can do. Learning how your stamps can cause depth, uh, some definition, and make the the, the leather do uh, create another shape, or is altering the leather to create a shape or the desired shape. And it was just so funny that I was like, you know, when I replied to him, I was like, hey, look, you know, that's not what that is. That was a border tool that I was using, but I used it as a mender, a minder, meander, whatever, you know, I'm in the South, so I'm just going to say it like it's spelled, meander too, I mean, then somebody probably come back on here and correct me later on, but hey, it's all good, but I, I, I wanted to show you guys exactly the tool that I used, so, and it's just to illustrate again, and, and drive home that point, Knowing what your tools can do. Play around with your tools so you can see, just create various and different shapes. It doesn't even matter, man. You'd be surprised what you can do just by simply turning your tools and manipulating them a completely different way. But, anywho, let's get down to business. Uh, I got a piece of belt blank here, or it's really a piece of scrap for real. Not even a belt blank. It's all, all weird shape. And uh, I've already cased it, so if you guys don't know what casing your leather is, uh, a lot of crafters, you, you'll hear a lot of crafters using that term, casing your leather. It doesn't mean encasing or putting it inside of a case. Basically what that is, is just merely misting or wetting the leather. Now, and I did this some time ago because I knew I was going to make the video, so now it's already starting to turn back and that is the proper temperature or the proper um not temperature but the proper moistness that you want in your leather and i i recommend using a spray bottle you'll see a lot of crafters out there they'll use a sponge uh, but i use a spray bottle because it's more even you know, it just doesn't pull up into one part or you don't squeeze it out more on one end of the leather than the other. So I use a spray bottle and mist it on both sides. And uh, once you start to see it turn back into is uh, the original color before you sprayed it, which is not turning. I, I like to think of it as the moisture is now absorbing into the leather itself. 
So it's actually pulling the water away from the surface area more down into the grain of the leather. So then this is a lot, this would allow you to work. But it's already been cased. And I've already put my scribe line on there, as you guys can see. You already see my border lines on there, so it's already cased. But first, I'm going to show you this. Oh, knock it off. This little tool here. This is the proper mender. Mender, meander, whatever. This is the tool that for, is from that particular name. And I'm going to show you how this thing works. For those of you who don't know, but I'm going to show you how this works. And basically what you would do, and let me get the camera and tilt it down a little bit so you guys can see this. Basically what you're going to do, once you scribe your borderline in here, and you'll take your tool, and you'll set it right there in that border, in that borderline. And you'll touch it, Connect the ends. And when I mean connect the ends, this is just giving you the proper distance from each one. And all you're doing is just putting it from end to end. So when I stamp this, I'll, I'll move it over. And then I'll push this end on the front end of the last stamp. And then you just keep doing that all the way down your piece. And you can curve it and do it or whatever else you want to do. Now, and you'll have thus. Now what I'm going to do is turn my, my piece over. And I'm going to line this up in the middle of each one of the existing. And I know this is kind of hard being that I'm left-handed. And you can not see it. And I think, let me help you guys out a little bit so you can see this even better. I'm going to move my camera and mount this here. So you'll actually get a chance to see what I'm doing. All right, there we go. Now we're cooking with fish grease. And we're just going to move this down. And it's the same principle. We're going to go end to end and just stamp that. And this is this got off a little bit somewhere, but I want you to show I want to show you the shape that it creates when you use this. Now, this is what you see. You see the little squiggly line, and that's off a little bit. You can see that, so it should have went over a little bit more. But now, and this is just showing you what you have, what can happen when you just play around and learn your tools. And that's what was done with this tool. Uh, now, I have another one that's in here as well. And some of you guys may have seen this on Tandy. This one, this little jewel here. It's the same type of tool. And basically what it allows you to do is set that border up. And then you switch that around. And then you turn around and you're going to run this same thing back this way. And this is just a quick, I just wanted to show you this. And these come in several different sizes. But you can see the same exact type of technique on this one. Alright? Now, to the tool, and, and these come in two, two different sizes. Basically, all of your men's tools come in two different sizes. Say so I have a small one here and a large one. So actually, even if I want to use these two together, I can use the large one as my base and then turn around and use my top one just as an accent like that okay cool now here is the bees knees right here this tool here this is a border tool and this can be used several different ways to actually i'm gonna go ahead and case another piece of leather so you guys can see just what i'm working with and i'm gonna show you just a couple of different designs and you can see I keep my water, case my, case my leather. So while I'm talking to you about this one, I'm going to show you this print here. And this, this is, he was like, man, I've never seen anybody use it for that. And it was all a part of just 
knowing what your tools can do. Look at that. Oh, let me put a borderline right here just so you guys can see what that can do. Just to give you an insight or an idea. But you see that there? Look at that. And the shape is a lot more crisp than it was down here. You see, this tool right here just makes the little slot a little narrow. But look how more defined that is. And it gives it more of an Aztec look. You know, so for those of you out there watching it, if you're into that Aztec design or print, and then what I would do, I would follow that up. And I'm actually building me a toolbox, which, uh, or a tool rack. Um, so, and you guys stay tuned for that because I will be posting that video up as well. But let me just show you the, the great part about this how this tool will work in conjunction with that with that Aztec and see we'll just line this up here just to give it a different feel and then we'll come back and we'll use this right here just to give it a little bit Aztec in the end it depends on what you want to say but look at there and see, and this can be a belt piece here. So we will use that border tool down the center of the belt. And then we'll come back and decorate the other sides with that. And then, remember we talked about in one other video where you can come back and lean this halfway in. So you don't have to go out there and purchase the half tool, which they do make in both directions. You can save that money and just by simply tilting it halfway and see so you basically have the shape that you're looking for here and then it works right on in with this border tool there now that's the funny part about it but let me show you what this tool is actually used for <laughs> and you're going to be like oh or what I bought it for I can tell you like that and see what we're going to do we're just going to scribe a line here just to give you a line to to see uh, I guess you can see that but I can see it but I'm gonna show you exactly what this tool is used for and now what we're gonna do my my scribe line which is right there yes yeah, you guys can see that now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this border tool and I'm gonna angle it at about a 45 degree angle and then when you see this you're gonna be like no way cowboy you sick and I'm be like, yes, way, bro. <laughs> yes, way. This is how we do it. Like Montel Jordan says, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. All right, let me get right and get serious here for a minute because I want you guys to see this, what this tool is actually, what I got it for, what I purchased it for. And you can buy this right there on Tandy. And I'm simply just tilting this border tool at a 45 degree all the way up my scribe line. And I got off a little bit, but I'm going to show you exactly what this tool is made for. It's made for making hearts. See what I'm saying? Just by tilting that on a 45, but you can make hearts with this thing. Let me do you a perfect one so you can actually see. And you can make this, and basically all you would do was uh, you would continue to go up your scribe line all the way up your piece. And then you'll turn around and you'll follow that back. And then you're just going to meet these two together. That's the great part about this too. And all you're doing is just scribing that, matching it up too. And I got a little bit off. But that's what it's used for is to make hearts. So, and, and for the sake of the video, I think, and you can see I got a couple of hearts that's really good. But just for the showing you how it is. But now you can get off the least, the smallest amount of spacing away from not meeting these ends up would actually make make your piece look good. I mean, look bad. So now, here's the thing. 
and this is what we, we, we're going over here today. Learning your tools. How you can take a border tool. This is for making borders or edges around the belt. And, and let me show you another one real quick. Just a real quick design. And I'm going to actually use this in connection with a camouflage tool just to give me a little bit of variance in, in depth um, with this real quick because we're already at the 15 minute mark. But I just really want to show you guys this really, 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 really quick. If I can find my camouflage tool, and this is why it's so imperative. Oh, there it is. I'm going to use my small camouflage tool right here. Uh, let me get that right there in the video. All right, now, what I'm going to do is post this at the top. Boom. And then I'm going to come right back with this border tool. And see, and this is creating another shape. I just saw this. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. Oh, check this out. <laughs> ah, man, I hate giving away the government secrets. But, hey, I want you guys to be great crap. If anything else... Cowboy knows how to stamp. Now, there are a lot of crafters out there that are far further down the road than me with the leather carving, and I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. But check that little beauty out right there. And that's with the border tool just turned over on the side, going down your scribe line, and then that's put it with a camouflage as a cap, as a cap on there. Now, if I even wanted to give this just a little bit more character, what I'll do, I'll come back with a cedar tool, and just to show you guys what this can do, I will come back, I will follow this up with a cedar. And let me find a quick cedar right quick. Ah, it's not a cedar, but it'll work. But I can come right back and just to give it, I need a cedar. Because that's a little bit too big. And see, and this is what the great part about it is, because you got to see your work. You want to see it. Now this is it's not the small, but it's a little bit smaller than that one. And then all we're gonna do is ah, give it a little, a little winky winky, right there, and just just change that up a little bit. So again, border tool, border tool, used as a mender tool, used as just a regular on the side. And that's capped with the camouflage. Hey, look, family. Y'all know, learn your tools, learn your tools. Play around a little bit. You have a lot of time to learn and play around with your tools. And actually get you a scrap piece. And try to create, try to make the leather create a shape. And that's what will capture the person's eye. You know, in this leather world, this leather crafting it's all about the manipulation of the eye. And it can be it can be completely by accident. I promise you it can be completely by accident. But as long as the person, when they see that, and just like the guy that was on, on my social media, he was like, he thought it was a mandatory, a mandatory. And I was like, no, it's a border tool. Hey, I just wanted to let you guys know that. Just share that ritual real quick. Uh, more videos will be coming out now. Um, Actually, I'm working on a video now. Uh, I've been caught up in learning to take a... I've been taking a Sheridan class. Shout out to D.D. McGraw. Shout out to D.D. McGraw. Greatest Sheridan teacher, man, this side of Dixie. I've learned so much from her. And, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm coming up. I'm bringing the pain. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. This right here, doing your own drawing, it only increases. It only increases your leather crafting skill. So now you don't have to worry about downloading pictures and taking other people's artwork so much. Now you can really get paid because the piece is really original now. It come out of your head. Well, them come out of my head. But I, I just want to share with you guys. Thank you. Thank you for chilling with me these 19 and a half minutes. And as always, keep grinding, keep grinding, keep grinding. I mean, boss it up. That's going to be the new thing that's going to be coming out, which is the new book that's coming out in September called Boss Up. I mean, don't take no excuses. Only you can hold you back. The Leather Cowboy right here, Premier Leather Crafters, Alabama. See you guys on the other side.